Hello amigos, how's it going? Long time no video, as per usual. Um, yeah, I decided to do a little bit of like a get ready with me. Uh, clearly I am at a hotel because work. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just have quite a bit of time to kill. So I decided to do um, a little bit more makeup than I usually do for my flights, um, just because I can. No reason other than that. Um, and drink my coffee and talk a little bit. I've had this video planned for a minute. It's really hard for me to focus on it today because of the news that just dropped about uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that. You have no idea. There are so many other people who do uh, like theories and shit like that like way better than me. So I'll leave the, the big shit to them, but I am terrified that they are going to kill off Zelda, but like for real, for real. I know they're not going to get rid of Zelda as a franchise, um, because money, but like, I don't know, some, something about like the vibes in the trailer uh, make me think that our girl might be in danger. Oh, mascara. Thought I washed my face last night, apparently not well enough. Uh, it releases in May of next year, so I will be a patient little fish. This is just primer because my makeup comes off really quick, mostly because I go bleh. Trying to think of where to even begin. Okay, so I'm sure that you have seen um, in your adventures on the internet that uh, certain video therapy programs have been getting way more advertised. Maybe not necessarily popular because obviously during um, middle of like lockdowns and everything, um, doing everything virtually was way more popular, um, which it still kind of is, but y you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, but for some reason, I have noticed that they are ramping up their advertising efforts even more so right now. Um, I'm wondering if the uh, in-person, in-person is becoming more popular again because people are feeling a little bit more comfortable going into medical offices in person, um, whatever the case may be. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys my personal, completely unsponsored opinion on BetterHelp um, and how that went for me um, as just like a regular user, uh, not somebody who was like working with the company in any way. Yeah, let me think here. When I left Hawaii last November, um, my therapist, uh, who I freaking love, uh, was no longer able to see me, obviously, because I was leaving the islands. One thing that you do need to keep in mind, and this will be kind of an overarching thing, um, for this whole, uh, this whole video <laughs> is that, um, <clears throat> mental health, uh, licensure regulations are weird. They're very, very strange, they're kind of archaic, and they have not yet caught up to, you know, anything that makes sense. So that's fun. I could not see my therapist anymore um, in Hawaii, or from Hawaii, even though we were doing uh, video visits most of the time anyway. Um, duh. Like, but either to be. So, um... <clears throat> When I went to Arizona to uh, stay with my mom, I started looking very seriously into BetterHelp. Other options too, but BetterHelp was definitely the largest slash most reputable. BetterHelp actually does have a pretty solid discount program, um, which was kind of my tipping point more than anything else. It is, uh, what's the word? Honor system, essentially. Um, so they didn't require any sort of like income verification. I just like, they just have this option where you'd be like, do you need financial assistance? I'm like, yeah, I'm a broke bitch. And they're like, cool. Um, so it was significantly cheaper than the sticker price that you will see. However, it is still expensive and it is still not covered by insurance at all. So I just, I was in a point where I just, I really needed it. Like no, no way around that. I needed to go get it go back to therapy. So I bit the bullet and dipped into my savings and did it. So my first experience was not great. Um, I obviously put in my like little biographical information 
um, that I am an Alphabet Mafia, so I believe that, um, part of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, and the first person that they matched me with, like it sent me like some messages that seemed like they were from her, they were apparently automated. Um, and it was just like asking about like what I was looking for and, and like scheduling and blah, blah, blah. Just really basic kind of intake stuff. When she finally really replied, she was like, she basically said something along the lines of like, those messages were automated. Those weren't really me. Um, I can't help you because you're gay. Like, was basically it. Like, so I really, I really dislike that. Um, so I <clears throat> tried to pair with a different therapist, uh, which took some additional time, which I was not a fan of. I do need to double check and see if I was charged for that amount of time that I didn't have a therapist because she, like, flaked on me. Um, don't think I was, but it's a possibility. Uh, so... The next therapist I found was actually awesome. Um, his name is Armando. He's based in Phoenix. Uh, and he was just really, really, really cool dude. Um, <clears throat> really enjoyed talking with him. He was definitely um, like on my level as far as like socially. He was younger. Like it was, it was a really, really good connection. Um, so I met with him once, if, when it was bad, it was once a week, uh, at maintenance, it was once every two, and I was only at my mom's house for a couple months, so clearly I didn't see him, like, that many times, um, but it was, it was definitely enough to get me through some crisis modes, so, like, that, that part was a really, really great experience. I would always go to, like, this cafe and have my headphones in, and I talk quietly sometimes, I know, shocker. So I was able to use the internet at this cafe to have my sessions and it was it was really nice. Like it was a good experience. He was really, really helpful. Um, it was the platform could be a little bit glitchy sometimes as far as like video, uh, video connectivity and everything. But we had each other's phone numbers. So it's like if it would mess up, we would just call each other and we figured it out. Unfortunately, <clears throat> back to my favorite topic with these archaic ass um, licensing laws even if i remained a resident of arizona which my license is still in arizona but all my everything is still in arizona. anyway um because i'm physically not in arizona no matter where home is um he was unable to continue to see me so like if you're from arizona but on vacation in any other state and something happens and you really need to talk to your therapist you can't um, <clears throat> again, not all states are like that, but I feel like you kind of have to err on the side of caution when it comes to anything like that. Um, we, we kind of knew this was going to be an issue, uh, early on, because I did, I did ask about it, because that's what I was worried about, since I ran into something fairly similar, uh, in Hawaii when it came to losing my super awesome therapist that I had a great relationship with. So now I'm two for two, I'm losing great therapists, love that for me. So I just had to cancel my program outright um which really sucks uh also financially speaking like I, I just ran out of savings it can be rough because you do have to schedule within certain parameters but there is a lot more flexibility with uh better help and all these other platforms i'm sure than there is with traditional therapy because like you don't have to go into the office you don't have to um like it's not necessarily during business hours. Like, we would do weekend after, like, weekend afternoons and shit like that, too. So, I don't know. It's, it's, there's definitely a lot of pros. But just the cons of it not being covered at all by insurance, like, there's not even, there's not even a chance, um, was really, that's, that's a really, really big con. And it is very expensive. But it's one of those things where I needed somebody to talk to so badly. Like, if I didn't do it, and who knows if I would be having this conversation with you right now type of deal. So it's just, it's, it's, you really, really, really have to weigh, um, your, <clears throat> like your personal need versus like what, like what you're able to afford. Like if you, I don't know if, um, a HSA or FSA account, um, through your employer would, 
be like if it would be applicable my issues with better help aren't even necessarily with better help and again i say better help like i say kleenex instead of tissue like all of these platforms um <clears throat> my issues with them are more in how state by state licensure is different um and with how insurance has decided like your teeth or your eyes your brain doesn't actually count as an organ worth caring for um so love that about america um except for not at all that's kind of it's kind of my, my whole recap like did it in arizona um stopped once i got to or stopped before i left for texas um and like it was it was great like on a scale of one to ten i'd probably give it like a seven um points off six six points off for price and points off for licensure even though fully recognizing that it's not their fault <clears throat> i'm going to put on some lipstick do i want lipstick here i like how i start to put it on and then go to it what in the kim possible am i doing right now <laughs> okay well it's impossible to do that and look cute on video so that's fun um, alright, so that's pretty much all I got. I will finish up my face. This is my face, like the audio. Um, how much time do I have? How long have I been talking right now? <laughs> Only one time. Alright, so I'm going to get out of here, um, and go finish getting ready for work. Maybe do some stretches because clearly I've been, my posture is super great right now. Yeah, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you are seeking out and receiving the care that you need and deserve. And I hope uh, that soon um, all of these different platforms will be able to be more accessible to everyone, because it's on a good track. It's a good start. Just not quite there yet. Okay, that's all I got. Other faces. Have a great day. Oh, one last thing is um, if you're interested in becoming a flight attendant, uh, my airline um, has finally reopened applications. The windows, like it, the, the portal's having some glitches, so it keeps opening, closing, opening, closing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's fun. <laughs> um, please go ahead and check what airlines um, that you're interested in are uh, open right now um because now is a good opportunity and they're going to be hiring a lot more people so this is not a bad time to give it a go um yeah that's all i got i'll probably drop a link below if i can i'm going to be editing this on mobile obviously since i'm on a trip um and yeah i didn't think about this earlier so i'm editing this in to uh earlier in the video that i'm actually saying it so I'm realizing that as a flight attendant, um, I'm definitely needing a, a virtual option for therapy. And as much as I really enjoyed my ender, ending experience with BetterHelp, number one, it's, uh, it's not affordable. Uh, and number two, until that licensing thing is really figured out, it's just not going to be a viable option for anybody who travels consistently. Flight attendant BetterHelp, no. If you have the money for it and you're not traveling for work, better help. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Be safe. Be good. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Okay, bye. And don't worry. I finished blending my face after I was done. <laughs>